All right, man. I got some interesting rumors right here, man. So I had a, uh, I pretty much had today planned out. I knew that the got the videos that I had today was gonna all get pushed back to Monday and throughout the week. I got some good information while I was, you know, willing and dealing on, well, willing and dealing on Sunday, on Saturday, just enjoying Saturday, getting out there, doing doing a few things, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I got some good, got some good videos coming on Sunday, possibly a live stream too, or shit with the weekend, you know. Maybe not so much. I mean, with you know, with the you know the week, I got a few days off this week because of the holiday and some other stuff I got to handle. So, uh, but yeah, let's get to it, man. Um, I got some information last night um, uh, for one of my guys out there and in, uh, in, out there in Texas or whatever. Um, he gave me some good information on uh, Demetrius Andrade, and once again, Demetrius Andrade. Um, Sound like he making bad business decisions. I gotta say that you know this is a rumor. Um, so I I've reached out. I haven't got a, I haven't it hasn't been confirmed. But if I do choose to go live today, um, or when I go live next time, I should be able to have an update for y'all about this. But um, I should have an update. So for the most part. I'm about to read it right off the uh right off the screen, so it ain't no mix up. I ain't in the car driving. We right here, right? So, um, so my boy said, "What's going on? What's good? Talk to one of my connections, but still, uh, check with your plug." So I did that. He, um, you know, Saturday he hit me back. He said initially Canelo offered Andre ten million, but he passed on it, passed it up. So PBC is to make Andre versus Plant because that's the fight Andre really wants. Uh, Maul is in no shape mentally or physically to fight Canelo at this point. So, you know, then he went on to say that uh, Al gave four hundred million to Canelo to pick his fights. I said forty or four hundred. He said four hundred, and he can choose who he wants: male, Maul. And somebody else other than Benavidez. Mel is getting more uh than Bevel, uh seven to ten million. So there you go. I didn't even read that part last night. I was kind of like preoccupied in this shit with some other stuff. So um so uh that male part, I can make that his own video. <laughs> so I least see y'all got a snippet of a video that's coming. So um so, yep, so apparently Andre was offered 10 million by Canelo. He chose not to take the 10. Uh, and that's probably when Jamel Charlo volunteered. I told y'all Canelo didn't pick uh Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo volunteered. It looked like Canelo was willing to fight Demetrius Andrade. Now, if you caught that what I said in that statement, not even the male person, you caught what I said in that statement. That's a bit that's gonna be the live stream, my next live stream, other than Benavidez. So he ain't fighting Benavidez in his contract. Not of right now, and things can change. You know, things can change. So, and that's some that's some great inside information. And I know exactly where he got it from. Great inside. I mean, really, really close. Um. So. But so I mean, I told y'all Demetrius Andre and Gary Russell just got bad business. You gotta remember they came out the same like little amateur class, or whatever Olympic class. Carl Dargis just was chasing women. They say that that was his problem, and Bud seemed to have the best business mind out of anybody. You know, so he seemed to have the best business mind. You know, out of most of them guys, him and Danny Garcia, they both amazing business wise. You know, you know, you know, but you can't say nothing about it. Demetrius Andrade is all cap. That's why Canelo didn't take him serious. I can understand Jamal. I'll give Jamal a pass. I'll give him a pass. You know, 
I'll give Jamal a pass. I really do. Uh, that shit that he going through, dude, that ain't no joke. That ain't no joke. So, and of course, people would say, well, it's self-inflicted. A lot of our wounds are self-inflicted. But our, a lot of the, the mistakes we make, um, a lot of mistakes we make, they're not knowingly self-inflicted. I don't, the mistakes you make, you know the pros and cons of it, then you know, really can't nobody feel sorry for you. And feel sorry for yourself. I tell you, I tell, you, tell men that all the time. You know what I'm saying? If you know it ain't right for you, you or you know you waste the pros and cons and you took the risk, you gotta you gotta live with that. You gotta eat it. Because you knew coming in, you thought about it. But nonetheless. Andre, I just like, come on, wash your hands with him. You want to, you want to fight a Caleb Plant coming off a loss, whether they're going to make 10 million versus Canelo, then you could go fight Caleb Plant. Win, lose, or draw. Demetri, man, Demetrius, if this is true, man, don't, don't tell me about Demetrius Andre no more. Don't tell me about Demetrius Andre no more, dude. Don't. And I don't want to hear y'all complain about Canelo. Go complain about Al Heyman. Call the PBC hotline like Pretty Ricky. Call them jokers. And make a complaint. I don't care no more. Cause Jamal wasn't ready, understandably so. We we pretty much figured that out. Then you turn around and uh Andre get offered 10 million, which it sounded like Jamil might took a little bit less than the 10 that Andre got. Right? Or he might have got he might have just took, let's just say he took the 10, assuming. He took the 10 ball, right? And then, you know, Andre, I want to go fight a dude coming off a loss instead of the guy he quote unquote been chasing for years. Like, man, miss me with that. Miss me with that. Don't tell me about Demetrius Andre if this is true. And it's it's I believe it's a hundred percent true in my opinion. And I gotta call it a rumor. Don't tell me about no Demetrius Andre no more, y'all. Whoever handling his business, dude, is horrible. And if it's his fault that he ain't in shape or he ain't in the best physical shape that he can be in right now, that's not Canelo Alvarez's fault. That's not Canelo Alvarez's fault. I'm sorry. You know, that's not his fault. But like I continue to say, dude, like I continue to say, don't tell me about no, uh, don't tell me about no, uh, uh, Don't tell, don't tell me about no Demetrius Andrade no more. Don't. Don't. If this is true, I don't care. You want to you want to go fight a dude coming off a loss. Make that make sense, and you probably not gonna get the ten million. Now, if you're getting 10 million to fight Caleb Plant coming off a loss, you still get no pass from me. You still get no pass from your boy. And people probably say, why you don't get a pass, CJ? Why you don't get a pass? Because that 10 million that you fighting against Canelo, you beat Canelo. Guess what? You the man now. Everybody got to come through you. You the man. You the man. You the man. You are the man. Come on. And now, you know, he want to skate into fighting Caleb Plant. So he want to fight a dude coming off a loss. Not David Benavidez. You know, we knew he wouldn't fight Jamal Charlo coming off that layoff. Come on. We knew it. 
Now he in his big fight over at PBC, he want to fight Caleb Plant coming off a loss. See, this is why you can't be out here, you know, fighting a good fight for these fighters out here. This is why. You can't be saying, oh, Canelo ducking him, this guy ducking this guy, or he ducking him. You can't say that. These fighters that make you look foolish every time. Now, it might have been some conditions in that contract that I don't know about that he was like, probably was like, no, nah, I ain't doing that. But why call out Canelo? You know it's going to be conditions. You know it's going to be conditions in the contract. So why even call out Canelo Alvarez when you know what the deal is? That's my million dollar question. That's my question. That is my question. So why even do that? And then Andre versus Caleb Plant. Not saying it's a it's a bad fight. But you got an opportunity to get the guy that you was clout chasing, and we know it's clout chasing. This is true now. You know what I'm saying? You want to fight a guy coming off a loss as your marquee fight. You know? Come on. Come on, son. As my, my NYC people will say, come on, son. Come on. Come on. What is he doing, bro? This fight is a solid fight. But then again, you know, if Benavidez lose this fight, people are going to be talking about it's time for this joker to retire. I mean, Plant lose this fight. He going to fans going to be calling him a gatekeeper. Fans going to be calling dog a gatekeeper. So, and like I said before, I watch it, but maybe some more to the story with Demetri Zandra. I was like, nah, buddy, I'm good. I'm good. So, like the clips, oh, buddy, I'm good. So, hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Just a rumor. Check out the box room playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Um, financially, want to support the channel? Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, find me on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, Amazon Music, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal link tree. My new channel is in the description and it's in the um, it's under the new channel. And it is in a link tree as well, too. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.